The Teachers Registration Council of Nigeria, TRCN, says 11,487 candidates passed its annual professional qualifying examination conducted recently across the country. Registrar and Chief Executive of TRCN, Professor Josiah Jiboye made this known in Abuja while briefing newsmen on the achievements recorded by the council. Professor Jiboye said 17,550 teachers sat for the professional examination conducted between 12th and 14th November 2020, which recorded a 24.1% failure rate. You know, we were able to conduct successfully uh, two professional qualifying examinations this year. And so we really want to, yes, and the exams, you know, were successful. They were conducted all over the country. The second, the first one, we had about 46,000 uh, candidates that registered for the first one. And the second one, we have about 17,000 candidates that took the exam. So it was a huge success in the year. Uh, we believe that the second one, the number was reduced because of the COVID and also due to the challenges of not, uh, you know, or associated with COVID as well. Acknowledging the various strikes recorded by the council, the TRCM boss said the announcement of a special salary package and other benefits for teachers by President Muhammad Buhari remains top as his greatest achievement for 2020. I want to place it on record that the TRCM achievement actually was based on the approval of Mr. President for Nigerian teachers. You know, on top of it, Mr. President, President Muhammad Buhari, for Approving all those largesses for the Nigerian teachers. You know, the approval, like I always say, were guided. The approval by Mr. President were guided by two principles. One, how do we attract best grades into teaching? Two, how do we retain experienced teachers on their job? Those were the, the major principles that guided Mr. President on those approvals. Unfolding plans by the council to release the present figure of quacks operating in the teaching profession. Professor Jiboye put the number of qualified teachers in Nigeria at about 2.2 million. CNN News.